do either of you want any warning or uh, anything as far as uh, harassment? It's not harassment. CRS 18-8-111, I know what harassment is, so okay. I'm not harassing. We need to establish that. Might want to turn this off and this off. Why? Because I asked you to. No, I don't have to do that. Well, I don't have to answer your questions. You don't have to answer my questions because I'm recording? Can, can I see sign? that can, in the envelope? I can't give it to you because it's sealed. Okay, well, I want to open it before can I sign, sign for it. Yeah, no, I, I want to know that it's in there. It I'm not signing unless I see it. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Good afternoon, everybody. We are in Aurora, Colorado. And I was arrested three days ago, and it was quite the ordeal. So we're here to do a little follow-up. Aurora has some kind of special uh, process where they can just confiscate your property from the jail and claim that it doesn't belong to you and hold it from you. Some of you guys saw this on the live stream. This is a crazy series of events that highlight more of Aurora Police Department's corruption, along with a few Karens. You guys are gonna really enjoy this. But before we get too far into it, it's time for a shout out. The sponsor of today's video goes to... Adam Kokesh. <laughs> Thanks for your support on our channel, bro. It's an honor to have you in my corner. If you haven't subscribed to this legendary civil liberties activist, head on over there, check out his amazing content, and let him know I said hello. I'll leave his link in the description and pinned comment. For information on how to sponsor a video, check out my memberships. Link is in the description. Good girl, Slabby. We're going to leave that. <laughs> That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's my girl. There you go, Sloan. That's for you with a cherry on top. They stole her mom's uh, ID. It's the only thing she has that she keeps with her so she can have a memory of her mom that passed in 2011, yep. she said. Yep. And uh, Officer Sloan, which we found out, I found out, is Christopher Sloan. That's what C stands for. Okay. I had my, my research guy, Jordan, hooking me up. All right. And uh, he was mocking her as he was taking it, like, oh, you can't have this, you can't have yep, this. Yep, he was taunting me while I was in a you. glass cell yep. inside this jail. They didn't even have it. So apparently Sloan must have like had it with him, like he took it as his personal souvenir or something like that. Yeah. We're not really sure. They were giving her the runaround until she straight up said, well, I'm coming down there, so you better get it figured out because yep. I'm, I'm going to be down there shortly. And then now all of a sudden, like shortly after that, then they call her back and say, oh, okay, we got it. Yep. You know what I mean? And then they want... Aurora Police Department Headquarters Lobby. Hi. Hi, how can I help you? Um, so I have property that I need to pick up. Yeah, what's your name? Regan Benson. Okay, so I'll call you up and you here, okay? Thank you, I appreciate okay. that. Benson. Yes. This is our property release now. This is our release sign. We put today, ours is on the 22, 287. I got me a remodel here. Uh, 642. 287631. Now, this yeah. was under this case number. The case number you were given was the wrong one. Yeah. Because so this, this case number is all over all of my paperwork. So, how is this the wrong case this number? Is what Officer Sloan gave me. Okay. So, Sloan gave you a new case number. So, and then this is the, the tag number for the item. It matches right up here the Colorado license. Uh huh. If I can get you to print your name at the end. Where's that credit card? Credit, credit card's in your husband's name. <clears throat> you have to. Get so. You know what, I, I've got some questions about that because it's not illegal for spouses to have their credit cards. We well, are co-signers. How co do I know that's your spouse though? Doesn't matter, I mean yes, you it took it. Well, well then we need to establish that. We need to establish that. I might want to turn this off and this off. Why? Because I asked you to. No, I don't have to do that. Well, I don't have to answer your questions. You don't have to answer my questions because I'm recording? Well, ma'am. Here is what you requested to get back. No, I want the credit card as well. No, this is what Officer Sloan has released for you. You asked me this morning, my name is Cindy. I'm You're Cindy, you okay. Now. You asked me for your mother's ID. Okay, at the very least, well, but why are you not releasing the credit card? Because, because it's it in your husband's name. 
How come yeah. he didn't take the other credit cards that are in his name out of my wallet? I can't answer Well, that. then somebody's got to answer that because okay. I want that credit card. Okay. You can get in touch with Officer Sloan. Okay. Is that the only question. option? Because I asked yes, you to get me in touch with a supervisor. I am a supervisor back in progress. I get that. But you're not Sloan's supervisor. I'm not, but you know, I can get you his information. I don't know it off the top of my head. But in order to release a credit card, that card has to match the um, ID that we received from the person. First of all, where is the law that gives you the authority to just take this property? Ma'am, do you want this? Yeah, I want it, but I also want my questions answered. Okay, I can't answer those questions. So like I said, you need to talk to Officer Sloan about And I'm not going to talk to Sloan unless he's going to come out here right now or he his supervisor comes out here. Okay. So I how do we... Him. So if you want this piece of property, we need you to sign this, and then I can get you Officer Sloan's supervisor's information. Can you give us the CRS, ma'am? Ma'am, can you give us the CRS that states that uh, you have to confiscate somebody's credit card, their husband's credit card, if it's not in their name? Can you, can you give us the CRS for that, please? It's not confiscated. That person can come up here and pick that credit card. It is. It is confiscated. So it was in her possession, and now you guys are confiscating it's in it. It's property. It's not confiscated. But, I, but I'm, that's not what I'm asking. I'm just asking, can you give us the CRS, ma'am, that states that you have to do that? That's the law. Can I see can you that, find out, then? please? We want to we see that. But can Don't I see that can, in the envelope? I can't give it to you because it's sealed. Okay, well, I want to open it before Don't I sign, sign for it. That back. Yeah, no, I, I want to know that it's in there. It is in I'm there. I'm not signing unless I see it. Okay, we're done. Yeah. We're done? Yeah. Okay, then get a sign. supervisor because I want to know that that is that property. Is I'm not going to sign for something that I haven't yeah. seen. How can, you, how can you expect her to sign for something if she hasn't seen what's in there? <laughs> That's a, that's, a, that's a label. I want to see the actual property. I don't trust Sloan. I, I know, you don't trust anyone. Did I say I don't trust you? What? You're starting to build distrust. I give you authority to open that. You want me to stop recording from the beginning? No, I don't trust what's going on. I want to see that property. Okay, we're done. Give me a supervisor then. Need a supervisor. Unbelievable. Even when they release you from jail, they lay okay. it all out Sergeant there. Sergeant Willoughby's number, this is Officer Sloan's supervisor. Okay, so can you just have him come up here, please? Yeah. I'm sorry? Can you just have him come up here, please? It's a she. She? And she is not in this building. She's not in this building. So okay, I just need a different supervisor then, because I want that property. I want to see what I'm signing for. Who's in charge of that? Her? So is she in charge of you? No? Okay, well then can you bring your boss? My boss is not here. Your boss is not here? No, ma'am. Well, somebody's here. So can you please find somebody? What? You'll sign that piece of paper. I'm not going to sign that until I see what's in that envelope. I don't care what your policy is. This is wrong from the beginning. All I'm asking is to see what's in that envelope before I sign it. I have tried to work with you this morning and I got you. This isn't working, Cindy. This isn't working. So you have to go find somebody else that can make this work. You're not the end all. No, this is not your boss. I need somebody that's going to help me with this property. The case number that I gave them this morning, they couldn't find it. So there was no property. And now all of a sudden, uh, this new ID or this, this property release has a new case number on it that Sloan generated, apparently. He's not going to sign for something and then open it up. It's not there. It's the wrong thing, right? And they say, oh, well, we've got your signature. Sorry. That's ridiculous that they would even say that. So you're just going to give it to me? You signed for it? Thank you. I'm not done, so I still need a supervisor. Let's open it too and make sure that that's the right one. I want the supervisor that can answer the question on what statute you're using to confiscate a married person's property. I want the statute. Thank you. This, this is it. Okay. It is it, so she does have Fuck with ID. me over my mom's death. Thank you, Aurora PD. 
special. This is a really special place. Here comes Sloan with, with my husband's credit card in one hand and my mom's ID and he's holding them up. These aren't yours. You can't have these. He was going to keep that property. They probably made him generate a new case because it's another lie. Is uh, ma'am, is Cindy coming out to uh, hello? Are you the one helping us? This lady's just ignoring me. Um, is Cindy coming out? I'm not 100% sure I can for sure check. All right, thanks. We've just been sitting here waiting for her. Thank you. And I want you to look to see so, oh look, she comes up there and she answers her. <laughs> Did you see that, guys? This lady comes comes up and she helps her right away. I was like, hey, hey, you want to watch you mind your business, lady? Tell me nothing. I'm not in your business. I don't understand people just think that they have like authority over other people to tell other full-grown adults what to do. You know what I mean? People are ridiculous, man. Uh, these people right here are just people that are customers. Um, the reason I'm recording them is because Karen right here started yelling at me to, to shut up. I was even talking to her, I was narrating to you guys. She thinks she could give me, uh, I guess, orders or directives. I don't know who she thinks she is, but that's crazy. That's why she's getting recorded right now. I was like, hey, karma's a bitch. So. <laughs> she said, karma's, karma's real. Bitch. Yeah, it is real, lady. <laughs> so, I'm not hopefully, that hopefully you'll do better so, so you get better karma. <laughs> Do I need to step in and babysit everybody here? Or are you guys gonna act like adults? <laughs> so I got the sergeant over there. Unless we need to act like adults, I guess. He's gonna babysit us. He needs to babysit us. Just asking that people people act like adults in a public lobby, that's all. Yeah, I am acting like an adult in a public lobby. That's all. I think she has a different view of that. Well, I, I have my own view, and I have 378 people in here that Douglas. have their view, that they agree with my view, so. So they're conducting private business in a public oh, lobby? Oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to help somebody with an online. Uh, yeah. Did you get his name and badge number? Is this one that contacted me? Oh, right in front of the house. Who this guy is? I'll get off my under and went down the street. All right. You want me to do that now or just wait? He said that, um, uh, he's telling you you can't record his. Hey, I need your name and badge number, bud. Sergeant, I need your name and badge number or card. Sorry, I'm being interrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do either of you want any warning or. Uh, anything as far as uh, harassment, as far as being called names? Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's trying to press charges on me, guys. He's trying to no. press charges on me. He's trying to solicit he charges. Public place. No, I'm actually not soliciting. I'm, I'm just asking them. It's not harassment. CRS 18-8-111. I know what harassment is. So okay. I'm not harassing. Okay. And I've got the book back in my office, too. So okay. I need I your card. I need your card. I need your card, dude. Uh, anything else? This guy, man. He's trying to charge me with harassment. Yeah. For calling a name, yeah, yeah, because I called her a Karen. I guess is that that's a, against the law. Yeah. Call someone a Karen. Cool. <laughs> this is a derogatory name. I need your card, man. Yeah, I was actually doing a phone call. So I... Oh, that's what you're doing. You're actually doing a phone call. I couldn't tell. All right, guys. Here we go. He's a uh, Sergeant Mike Douglas. There we go. Email is mdouglas at auroragov.org. So, yeah, so so apparently uh, I was, I was harassing her because I called her a Karen. I guess that's against the law, guys. Well, so she's in, harassing you now. In the city of Aurora, it's, uh, it's against the law to uh, call someone a, uh, a Karen, I guess. They want my ID and I'm not giving my ID. Oh, they want your ID for the records? For my own, for my own. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's against the law. Let's go. Now let's go over here. They just can't help themselves, guys. They can't just do what they're supposed to do. Now they want ID. We already know that we don't have to show ID. They want my ID for my own booking photo. <laughs> so it's South Branch. How you doing today, man? <laughs> Is that just your regular recording? Or do you have like a, are you live streaming or? No, don't answer. I was wondering if it's like, yeah. is that just a static yeah. recording? 
You have your fish? Okay, you don't have to tell me. She said it was her understanding that that's required. Mm -hmm. So see that they want you to. They train them to get everyone's ID. Yep. Right, which is ridiculous. They yep. shouldn't do that. It's, it's public it's, it's, information. Yeah. Anybody Colorado. from. Yeah. China to um, I can get it for you, but you're gonna have to wait. I have someone else ahead of you. Okay. How long will it be? I don't know. I haven't looked at their report and redacted it yet. But as soon as I'm done, I'll let you know. Yours won't take long to do. Okay. Do you need me to pay for it? Uh, it will be two forty six. Two forty six now or when you're done? Uh, when I'm done, it's fine. Okay. So you don't need my ID. I don't need your ID. Thank you. They're information collecting. They are the ones fishing. Not us. <laughs> You've got a credit card, sir. You're good to come get your credit card. Oh, we're good to get the credit card. Oh, Let's now go. we get the credit Christian, card. They 27. They think they uh, are the oh, I'm sure do. Cool, so now we got it, guys. We got the credit. Now we're leaving with all the information. Apparently, they said that they're, they can do it. So. so, it can't be held. That's correct? No, I got permission from Internal Affairs. You got permission what? From Internal Affairs to release this? Sergeant who? Sexton with Internal Affairs. Sexton? Okay. Thank you, Cindy. Hmm. Interesting. Cliff Williams put uh, the phone Hi, number in the chat. So maybe people will call in. Maybe that's also part of the reason why they changed their mind. Hmm. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, and they're breaking the law. It's already? They want us out of here. Early. There should be there shouldn't be any concessions. It's either public or it's not. It doesn't matter who's getting yeah, it. It does. You're on law. Have you ever read all of the copyright no. by statute? If it's in discovery, that's the different story. But public information is all redacted the same way. Okay. It's not. It's not. Uh, okay, well, we're not gonna argue that. I appreciate right. this. So it's but this is horrible. I don't want to pay for this. Look at my hair. <laughs> you didn't smile. I was smiling. This is horrible. Do I have to pay for it or can I give it back? You can do whatever you want. Thank you. Oh yeah, I don't want it. Thank you. <laughs> that was by far my worst looking photo ever. It, I have to admit it wasn't the, your best one, that's true. Oh, that, that was by far yeah. the worst. Is that the, the worst hot shot? <laughs> the ultimate worst <laughs> ever. And I typically look good in orange. Well, I thought you were going to smile. You said you I was smiling. Was they were, smiling. She was screwing with me when she was taking my picture. Uh -huh. So she's like, look at the camera and smile. So there's this, there's like a 10 second lapse, right? So when you hear the click, you know the picture doesn't take for about 10 more seconds. So I'm standing there just smiling away. And from the time she said it until the picture should have been done, then she snapped it when I was like, Okay, so she did it on purpose. Oh yeah, they did it on purpose. Yeah. Because they knew what I was doing. Right. Because I want to smile. Yeah, you want to look good. It's not, it's not, it's not illegal to smile in your mugshot. And when you take my picture, I want the opportunity to smile. Right. So. Nothing wrong with that. She screwed with me, so it's a terrible picture, so I shouldn't have to pay for it. Well, so we won, guys, but that's the thing, you know, we shouldn't have to work this hard to get our stuff. You know what I mean? Shouldn't have had it to begin with. There were some exceptionally kind people in that jail, and one of them, his name was Wright, and uh, he knew what was going on, and he offered me water. He apologized for the inconvenience. Those were his words. No, hassle. Sorry about the hassle. Can I get you anything? And he gave me some water, and then not 30 seconds later, Sloan is at the window holding my mom's, my mom's ID and the credit card up, trying to taunt me. I'll show him the dog. Love for Slabberina finding her perfect home. Mm. That's Slabby, guys. She's adorable. She's found her forever home. Thank you, everybody. All right, guys. You guys have a great rest of your evening. Talk to you later.